In a world where robots walk among us and artificial intelligence evolves beyond our control, a new era has dawned. One where the lines between man and machine blur and the news of our world takes on a new face. Stay tuned for more updates on the future of technology and robotics. Hi, welcome to RBAI News. I am Rayshawn Blyden. So Microsoft, they have gained major AI clients as TikTok spends 20 million monthly. Let's talk about it. Where may, where many have struggled to turn their cloud servers into a profitable endeavor, Microsoft has stood out by integrating OpenAI's successful AI technology. For instance, TikTokie TikTok, according to internal financial documents, as of March 2022, ByteDance, that's TikTok parent company, if you don't know, was spending nearly 20 million every month on OpenAI's model services, which TikTok access through Microsoft. This hefty amount accounted for almost 25% of Microsoft's total revenue in that sector. At the time, Microsoft's annual revenue from this business was expected to hit $1 billion or around $83 million per month. That's huge. That's huge. You, you can't, uh, you can't blame them. Capital, you know, to survive in capitalism, you have to think ahead of the curve. You have to, to do things to innovate and bring yourself apart from your competitors. So I don't wrong them. I'm always trying as an entrepreneur, trying to break through, trying different things that work, that don't work. So you have to evolve with the times and you have to, you know, obviously as a struggling entrepreneur who don't have the means or way of to, to find someone to back me or back the company rather, and my vision, that's the, dif the difficult part. Perhaps AI can help me with, with that because I am, I did not go to school for business. Um, I didn't make my, you know, I didn't major in business. I wish that I did, but nonetheless, I'm going off course here. Let's get back to the article here. But behind this success lies a risk. High customer concentration while Microsoft is relying on AI in its work with TikTok, the latter company has also developed its own AI-related plans. In particular, ByteDance wants to create software that can generate dialogue and images. This means that TikTok's AI might soon become more competent than the one utilized by Microsoft, which could negatively impact the growth of Microsoft's cloud business revenue. Well, I mean, again, playing devil's advocate, you can't blame TikTok to say, listen, we are spending too much money relying, it just, you know, I don't want to go to politics, but it's just like the U.S. having an abundance of energy under our feet, but yet some of the politicians out there want to rely on energy from our adversaries and then get us into debt. Why do that? Why be stupid? Just rely on what you have and be, a, you know, someone who exports as well. But I have strained way off topic here, but I just had to draw that analogy. To reduce this risk, Microsoft is trying to attract more 
corporate clients such as Walmart and financial software provider Inuit, which I don't deal with at all. Long story short of them, they did my taxes one year, or was supposed to do my taxes, but it was supposed to be free. I saw it wasn't going to be free, so I backed out of it. They charged me, and they wouldn't give me my money back, and I vowed I would never do business with them again. And at the time, they did not own, um, what is it, Karma, Credit Karma? They, they did not own them. But then they, they bought them out or merged or whatever you want to call it and immediately dropped Credit Karma. I don't use Credit Karma at all anymore. Because I mean it, Inuit. Unless you take over every single thing that I use and it's hard to replace you, I will not use your services. But anyway, these companies pay millions of dollars monthly to access OpenAI's models through Microsoft. For Inuit, this subscription is a hopeful sign since the company used to rent its servers from Amazon. Uh, Microsoft is also adopting a diversified strategy by utilizing AI in a number of ways. This cloud service does not just consist of Azure, OpenAI, OpenAI. They also they also have a service named Copilot. I've heard of Copilot before which they sell AI-powered writing, coding, and summarizing features to existing open, to exist, existing Office 365. The success of Microsoft AI can be attributed to major customers like TikTok. So what do you think about this? The article still goes on in length. I'm not going to read all of the article, but you get the gif of what's going on there. What do you think? Do you think uh, that it's a good move? Obviously, this is a rhetorical question. If it's a good move for TikTok to go ahead and get their own server, and obviously the answer is yes. If you say no, I'd be curious to, to wonder why you would say no to that. Why would you say no to that? That would be my question. So, uh, we still don't have any sponsors. This is a very new format here. So there's no sponsors. So I will, I will do a cheap plug of my AI art shop. Uh, I'm still working on, I have um, a shop, an online store I've always had. I was trying, I don't know if, if you guys remember the Dropbox days, but I tried the Dropbox and it was just a nightmare because the product was horrible coming from, from China. And half the time people were canceling the orders. It was just making my life horrible. So I just... Dumped everything from out of my store, RayshonsShop.com. I took everything out of there. And so now I'm going to rebuild it. But what I'm doing now, I'm putting a lot of my artwork from the platform that I use here to sell my AI art that I prompt. I won't say create. Although my, it, I, I do use my mind to come up with unique things. But I'm going to show you the store here. It's RYB, that's, that's my initials of my name, Design Shop. I know it's not anything that sounds really cool as an AI shop, but I will leave the link in the description if you want to check it out. Show you some of the pieces here. But you, there you go. You can see some of my artwork here. This great stuff, great stuff. Um, 
one of my best pieces is uh obviously of my chocolate lab you could see him there and me as a little boy with the chocolate lab so those pieces are some of my i i, I love the best um what else do i like the swallowing sea i, I like that one tiger on a rock so there's many different and these are where these these print on on canvas and it comes framed so you could put these on your wall so go ahead on over and visit that. i'll put a link in the description if you'd like to check that out don't forget to leave a like and share and we'll see you in the next one stay informed stay ahead welcome to the future Stay tuned for more updates on the future of technology and robotics. Thank you for watching RBAI News. Visit rehdogg.com forward slash A. I news.